Hi, and welcome back to another Retro Remake review. Today, we have the West Ham home shirt from 1993. I think this shirt was used all the way through to 1995. The shirt comes in a standard bag. On the flip side, we have our usual health warnings. So this shirt was ordered from DHK and took about 10 days to arrive from order, which is really good. So if you do enjoy this video, please give it a like. And also, I do these reviews on a weekly basis. So if this is the sort of content you like, then please subscribe to the channel. Also leave any comments or questions below and I'll always reply to you. Also, please let me know if there's any shirts you'd like me to review. Let's get this bag open and have a look at the shirt. All right, looking at the collar line, everything looks absolutely fine. A little bit of loose stitching in there. Well, it's just excess stitching. We have an officially licensed product from West Ham Pony tag there. And the size is XL, but bear in mind this is a DH gate shirt, so it's more like a large. Also, wash, washing instructions are included up there. Hand wash only on these sort of shirts. Inside out too. Also comes with a sport performance tag. Just some brief information in it. Looking down sleeves. Stitching looks absolutely spot on. And so it does on this side. I tend to find the retro shirts actually look a lot better. Here we have the pony. This is like a velvety sort of feel, which has been pressed on. And the West Ham badge has been pressed on as well. It's kind of got the same sort of velvety feel to it. Same goes for Dagenham Motors. This was all the rage back in the, the early 90s when it was a, a shirt sponsor. It always had this like pressed velvet feel, but it feels really nice. Moving to the bottom of the shirt, just looking uh, there's a slight bit of stitching problem there, a little mark there as well. But apart from that, the hemline looks okay. Yeah, good start. Let's have a look at the back. Okay, as we move to the reverse, again, the collar looks absolutely fine. Slight bit of crease in there, but that's just where the shirt's been in the bag. Moving our way down the arms. Stitching looks absolutely fine. Just have a look where the blue crossover is, and that looks really good. Actually, looks spot on almost. Same goes on this sleeve. All looking good. I've just noticed. I don't know if you can see in the light. There is some a faint pattern in the shirt. And if I put my hand through the bottom, you can't see it. Well, you can just about actually. It's probably about right for the, the thickness of the material if you were going to be wearing this playing football. So far, retro, so good. So now we're on the inside. This is where I usually expect some shockers, but thankfully for this shirt, things have been pressed on. So there's no dodgy stitching. So where the badge is, that's been pressed on nicely. No creases at all. And the same goes for the pony, no creases. Dagnum motors, again, you can feel it really nicely. Feels really secure, no creases whatsoever. Pressed on really well. Looking under the arm, the stitching looks absolutely spot on. No loose threading, and to be fair, they've not even got any excess there. Same goes for this side, looks really, really smart. Jumping down just to the bottom, to the hemline, just have a quick look at that. Hemline, again, looks equally as good. It's that mark that we see on the other side. I don't know what that is. With some dye or something on the shirt. But no, this looks good. I like I, I like the blue coming through. It looks really looks really nice. As we flip it around, there's the tag that we looked at earlier. A little bit of loose stitching there, but scissors will sort that out. Continuing down, look at the arm stitching. It's really, really spot on. Like I said earlier. These retro shirts, the remakes, tend to be so much better than what you'd expect. No issues whatsoever. The hemline looks fantastic too. There's a slight crease there in the shirt, but that's just where it's been in the bag. And this XL performance, this is just a generic tag. Oh no, I think they've hit the nail on the head with this one. 
So what a fantastic remake of a shirt from 1993. Little to no issues can be found on this one. So this is definitely one of the best that I've looked at. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit the like button. Also subscribe to the channel as I do these reviews on a weekly basis. I've got a lot more content coming up. So I won't want you to miss out on it. Also leave any comments below or any questions. I'll always respond. Or even let me know if there's any shirts you'd like me to look at. I'll try to do my best to keep the content on this channel exactly what you want to see. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one.